What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado and this is Torado Racing. So in today's video, I'm gonna be installing the Vicrez Dodge Challenger side splitters that go from the Challengers from 2008 to 2020. Now the part number is VZ100662, but don't worry about memorizing that. I'll put a direct link in the description down below. So anyways, let's get started. Your Vicrez box will include a left and right side splitter. You will also receive a set of L brackets that are pre-drilled, along with some Phillips head stainless steel screws, and some nylon locking washers. First thing you're gonna wanna do is flip one of the side splitters upside down and make sure you are working with the edge that sits inside the car. Once you have done so, you're going to want to go ahead and take one of your pre-drilled L brackets and space them evenly across the entire side splitter. Then you're going to want to drill a hole, making sure the L bracket is sitting snug up against the side splitter. Once you have drilled your hole, you can go ahead and then insert your screw and your locking nylon nut. When tightening down the L bracket, make sure they are snug and the bracket doesn't twist. You want it to be as straight as possible. Once you have finished setting up your side splitter, make sure your car is setting up on jack stands and you have plenty of room to work underneath your car. This part is a lot easier with two people or you can use some boxes to set up the side splitter, but you just wanna make sure the splitter is even front to back so you don't have any excess hanging off either side of the car. I started by securing the middle of the splitter first and then working my way out. Here's the frame rail of the car. The splitter lines up directly on the edge. And this is the final product. So there you have it. All in all, it took about two to three hours for me to do it by myself. It would definitely help if you had a second set of helping hands, especially to balance out the side splitter all the way across the bottom of the car. And if you have a lift, definitely use that because crawling on your back can be pretty difficult. Another quick tip is if you don't have a drill, you can use a self-tapping screw to start the hole. After I used a self-tapping screw to start the hole, I would then take a drill bit and clean up the burrs around that hole so the screw and the nylon nut would go through smoothly. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you like these videos, hit that like button. If you love these videos, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys. Peace out. Peace.